things, but first I want to talk about pedagogy. So I took a course on Wittgenstein a couple of years ago, and I noticed that, you know, if you read uh, philosophical investigations or even the Tractatus, he writes in aphorisms and uh, they're numbered in a certain way. And they're just like one sentence, you know. Um, so <clears throat> I make a joke in my classes and I say, um, I don't think you can teach anyone past the age of 10 years old anything, mm -hmm. but you can inspire them. You can inspire them to want to learn. So. For me, there's a word uh, in French, it's, it's lure, which is similar in English, lure, where, and, and I, I actually like in English, um, uh, tease. So if I tell you the world is flat, flat, you're like, no. And if I tell you the world is round, you're like, yes. And if I say like, look at the horizon, like, what do you see? You know, mm -hmm. so we have to lure people into going outside of their own paradigms. We have to um, we have to tease them into entertaining new possibilities. Right. Yeah. So for me to answer your question, how to own your life, uh, I've been on the path uh, for I was on the path for 25 years and um, uh, I studied uh, philosophy for eight years. And then uh, I studied uh, spirituality, Buddhism, Hinduism, Kabbalah for eight years. And then I studied um, uh, psychology for eight years. And it all came together when I started um, teaching. And I made the DVDs, Yoga for Depression and Anxiety, uh, Mindfulness for Depression, Mindfulness for Anxiety, a Beginner Guide to Happiness. Like my whole life, just if you looked at the 30 years prior to that, you would have said, oh, you know, he's lost. Like, I'm so like, what is he doing in India? Like, what is he doing in Paris? Like, why does he do, why does he just, why does he sit around and read all day? What, what's wrong with that man? <laughs> and then it all came together and I, and, and, and I, and I, and one of the key ways it came together was owning, like owning the past. And, and it's funny because a, a friend of mine told me, uh, and this is in another context. She said, Ira, you know, you have an adverse relationship with the film industry. And I didn't, I didn't understand it when, when she first said it, but years later, I was just thinking like, I didn't grow up out here and my way of, um, of like ingratiating myself with filmmakers was, was not working. Right. And so I, I, I took that phrase and I was doing a course like the one you took that I, I, I give on Udemy. And um, I thought, wow, like I have an adverse relationship with reality. Mm -hmm. You know, reality is that I have a scar from here to here. Um, and my face was blown off my head. And uh, I have a scar on my leg from my knee all the way to my hip where my femur was replaced with titanium rod. And for some reason, for like 25 years, like I kind of subconsciously was like looking in the reflections, like, is it gone? Mm -hmm. Like, is it like, is it, is the scar gone? Like, am I, is it, is it like, you know, and then I, 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 when I was taking all of these courses on consciousness, I realized that you, this is the way the mind is built, the, the, the mind is built to create resentments, woulda, coulda, shoulda, didn't. Like, so I'd be sitting there and I'd be like, oh, well, I'd be happy now if I didn't have the scar on my face. And that is an adverse relationship with reality. I do have a scar on my face. So my walking through the fire was sitting in one of these courses in a dyad with a partner. And instead of having an adverse relationship with reality, trying to shove a square peg into a round hole, like I write in my book, I just turned to him. I said, I'm supposed to have these scars on my face. I'm supposed to have this discomfort in my leg. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just as absurd as me walking around saying, I'm not supposed to have these scars on my face, except for one of them is the cause of suffering. <laughs> and the other one is owning your life, you know, and we've all been through traumas. It's not a, it's not a contest, but for me to overcome and transcend and, and be able to, 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 to help other people. I had to walk through the fire, which was owning, this is who I am. Like, this is, this is it. You know, you only live once if that, 